Hi everyone, and welcome to How the Like Coupon. It is Monday, April 13th, you can tell. I'm tired. But um, I'm here with a video, um, another vlog, just talking about life, I guess. So, first up, a day in the life. So, first I'm going to show you guys, this is my process, this is my everything, this is my bullet journal. If I didn't use this... I would be so lost. Like, seriously, my time and stuff, things would not get done if I didn't take the time to write it down. So this is basically a to-do list. Everything needs to get done. Um, in a totally notebook-style planner. This is what Designer Jan actually got me in that unboxing. Um, I just got around to using this one. Um, so basically what you do is each day you just make a to-do list. And if you had stuff on the day before... And you have room on the page, you just go right down and start another list. Like, it's so unstructured and so simple. I just list out what I need to do. So I don't need to film my Audi video. I need to film my Walmart video. I need to answer comments. That's just what I'm going to do now. I have a science test today. That's a task I want you guys to see. Um, some things I don't want people to see. Um, take vitamins. Continue my Bible study. Pray. Um, send my grandma a letter. Um, there is a, okay, so the little bullets signify tasks, things that I need to get done. The circles indicate events, things, time-oriented things. So tonight there's a prayer meeting at 7 p.m. on Zoom that I want to go to. So you remember that, um, and then vlog today. So that's my to-do list. I do this every day, and I also have started doing this time blocking, and I really love this, um, Okay, so I have a color code for it, and yeah, I did sleep till 9.30 today, but I don't fall asleep till pretty late, so, you know, don't think I'm lazy. Uh, does this have my name on it? No. Okay. I'm going to show you guys my color coding for that time bar. This is how I color code the time bar. So, like, green is for school. So, if I'm going to be spending a certain time on school, so let's say I'm going to take 3 o'clock and do that science test, I would shade that as green, because that's the time I'm designating the school. Um, pink is work, orange is personal development, so that's things like Bible study, prayer, um, journaling, anything that has to do with something that's for me. Chores are things I'm doing for other people in my house or anything, so like cleaning, um, cleaning, you know, doing making a meal, something like that. Purple signifies outings. Anything that's me out of the house, which really right now is, is nothing. Just like me going for a drive, but whatever. Um, gray is lazy time, which is just me watching YouTube videos, doing, um, watching TV, things like that. And then blue is sleep. So it just really helps to have it mapped out like that. And I go through here and I play, I don't just pre-plan all this. I'll just like, so I get to about 10 o'clock. I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? Um, so for the next half hour, I'm going to shade that as pink because I'm going to answer comments and then I'll grab something for breakfast. So that would actually be, um, a chore because eating's a chore. So yeah, that is that. So this is my bullet journal. A lot of you guys really wanted to see more about this and hopefully this helps someone out. All you have to do is get a cheap dot grid notebook or it could be a graph notebook, um, I'm not sure. I think designer Jen got this on Amazon for me. I'm not exactly sure. I think that's what she said, but I really, this is a good notebook and it's just, it's a great system. Okay. So the really cool thing about bullet journal is you also can make these things called collections. That's really what I love. I have used probably every, almost every planner out there and I always struggle to find places to put collections. So like this, a wish list, things I want when maybe my birthday comes around and someone's like, why don't we get you for your birthday? I always am like, oh, I don't know. So when I think of things, now I put them on this wish list. You can do this with anything. I also made one to keep track, if I can find it. Yeah, all this to keep track of my journaling, to make sure I'm sticking on top of it this year. And if there's any dates that aren't checked off, you know, I know I gotta go back and fill those in. I have various collections like this all throughout the bullet journal. And how you keep track of this is your index which is literally just like a table of contents and that's why you number your pages so like if i'm looking for my wish list i go to the index oh it's on page six if i'm looking for my bible study topic ideas page 13 all that and i just started this book a couple days ago so that's why i am um, not got too much in it yet but just really love the concept of the bullet journal it is such an easy system i just love it so that is my bullet journal and so hopefully that answers any questions you guys have and feel free i'll probably share this in future vlogs too 
I just filmed my Aldi video, which is about to go up, which you guys will have seen at this point. If you haven't already seen it, go watch that. I'm actually about to bulk film. I'm gonna film my Walmart video that's gonna go up tomorrow because honestly, I um, have a big school thing tomorrow that I need to do. So I don't wanna have the distraction of YouTube videos on my mind tomorrow when I should be getting my school done. So I'm gonna go ahead and pre-film that for today too. So really, really awesome. So I also just got done filming my Walmart video. I'm really proud of myself for getting all that done um, in the last couple hours done. So this is actually going to go up tomorrow at 12 p.m. So really, really exciting. So you guys will see this tomorrow, um, Tuesday at 12 p.m. I love bulk filming like that because it just lets me get multiple things. I take the time to film multiple videos and it makes other days easier because tomorrow, like I said, I have a really big school group thing I have to do that'll probably take hours. So um, yeah, I wanted to get this filmed today. So yeah, schedule that. And you guys will see Walmart deals tomorrow. So awesome. All right, guys, it's the first time you've seen me today. Um, yeah, so I need a haircut desperately, but I can't because at least here, the governor shut all the hair salons down. So I can't get my haircut until this all ends. So uh, wild hair, I guess that's how it's gonna be for a while. So I was gonna go on a drive later because we've just been doing that a lot lately, just there's something to do. So um, yeah, I'll maybe I'll vlog that a little bit. So that is what we are doing now. All right, so now I have this annoying science test to do. I This is the last like general elective I need and I'm just like not looking forward to this. Look at all this stuff I have to do. This is probably gonna take a while, y'all. All right, let's get this done. So an hour and a half later, that test was done. That was brutal. I'm probably gonna have to email my teacher because it looks like they marked something wrong. I know there's no way that was wrong. I don't know, but that took forever. So yeah, um, now I'm just going to have some dinner now that that's done. And uh, yeah, that's what's going to happen now. I know it's been kind of a boring day, but it's, I mean, it's life. It's real life. And especially with the quarantine, there's like really only so much you can do. So yeah. All right, guys. So it's kind of late now and um, it's uh, 8, 826. I mean, it's not late for me really, but um, yeah, so we're going to wrap up the vlog for tonight. I know it's kind of just me getting on here talking about stuff. I did show you guys my Boo, um, Boo Joe bullet journal process. And I think a lot of you guys asked yesterday to see more about it. So definitely, I'm definitely going to incorporate more. I've already started um, setting things up for tomorrow. Yeah, this is clear to show you guys. Already started setting it up for tomorrow. Just this keeps my sanity going strong. So that's really great. Um, I did today, so I showed you guys everything. I went to that service tonight. Like I told you, our church was doing a Zoom service again. Um, it was it actually had an evangelist preach. He was from his house, of course. It was on Zoom. Um, really great. It was a great sermon, actually. It really spoke to me and challenged me um, just about having that personal altar of devotion in your life, you know, to... to to cry out to God, basically, in prayer. It's one thing, and I've had to learn this, it's one thing to be able to go to church, and you get to the point where you depend on going to church as your, you know, time with God, and that's really where I feel I was at. This has really, you know, challenged me to, you know, build, like he said in the sermon, build that altar and, and prayer at your home, and that's something I'm really going to be working on, um, it was a really great sermon, really challenged me. So that's, yeah, that was awesome sermon tonight. Um, and yeah, so tomorrow I'm exciting. Well, it's going to be, I put off a lot of stuff. My to-do list was kind of short because tomorrow is going to be really, really rough because I have, okay, so I've been in this group project for the last 12 weeks. It's, or it's a 12 week class. I think we're on week nine. Our groups are working together and there's these cycles. It's like an accounting capstone class, which means it's the end of your degree. It's the last class, put it to the test. And we're working in a group for this company. Um, if any of you are accounting majors or were, it's called BAM. Um, the comp it's an accounting simulator. And we go through and we do these processes for four years total of their company. We're on year three and it's their financial statements that we're doing this week. And every time we've done it, it's been horrifying. Like we've had a, such a hard time getting them to like balance out and everything. And last time was so bad, we couldn't even finish them. It was just that hard. We were just like turning what we had and we're like, you know, we can't take this anymore. Thankfully, he was a lenient grader, so we survived. But 
Um, so yeah, it's really, really hard. The statements are really hard. So how we do it is we've divvied it up. Okay, this person from the group does this statement and then the next person does this statement. Well, the person today who did our income statement said it took him eight hours to get it to finally balance out. Like it took him all eight hours to do that because it's so hard. There's so much, sorry, my phone's dying. There's so much detail to it. It's super hard to get them to balance. So I literally cleared up the whole day. I didn't want past experience. It's taken me hours upon hours to figure them out. So I like wiped most of my schedule out tomorrow to devote to, to the um, my statement, which is the statement of equity I have to do. By some miracle, maybe it won't take that long. I'll just have an easy day, but I just like, you know, what? I'm going to double up. Like I said, I did my Walmart video today, so I didn't have to worry about filming it tomorrow just to make life easier so I can have all the time in the world to devote to that project because that's, uh, hate it. it. Makes me question sometimes why I'd even go into this field, <laughs> but thankfully I got the business degree too, so I don't have to do accounting unless I don't want to. All right. Um, and then also tomorrow I'm registering for the master's program. Um, I have a phone call with my advisor. I'm so excited, kind of. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for the master's program. And the cool part is, since I'm alumni, I get my first class for free, y'all. That is such a big savings. It's like over $2,000 is what that class usually costs. I'm getting it for free just for being alumni. Yes, I'm so excited for that. Awesome news. Uh, it's going to really help me out a ton. That's why I really love my school, because they, they really are good about saving money. They are cheaper than a lot of other schools. All right, so that's today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed these. The, the views, guys, right now are really struggling. People are being very critical in the comments. I got a comment today that really made me feel bad. Someone was like, you made your parents go in the store. Why didn't you go for them? And so if any of you guys wondered why I haven't gone to the store, my parents went to Aldi a couple weeks ago, and I explained all that. I have an autoimmune. I can't be running in a store right now. It's it's not safe. If I got this virus, I probably honestly wouldn't survive, to be honest, because my immune system is so bad because of the medication I'm on to make my Crohn's symptoms be at bay, which I wouldn't trade that for the world. That medicine's the best stuff ever. It really is. I couldn't imagine not having that medication. It literally. So, but that does bring your immune system down. So I have to be extra careful. I can't be running in the store. So if some of you thought it was so wrong of me to make my parents go to the store, you know, they came to that on their own. I offered, I did, but they assured me, no, you should not go to the store. Like no way. They're in healthcare. They had the masks and the gloves and all this stuff. And it was just safer for them to do it. So if any of you guys thought it was wrong that they went to the store instead of me, you know, there's your answer again, if you need me. I mean, I shouldn't have to really justify what my family does, but you know, there just so you don't think any lesser of me so yeah so yeah that's my vlog for today I'll be back tomorrow with more vlogs the current schedule I'm doing is 12 p.m eastern time is the deals and 12 a.m is when a new vlog will go up so we're actually looking at a video every 12 hours just because I'm gonna be real with you guys money on YouTube has gone down about 70 percent yeah because most of the people have just clocked out they just don't think that they just expect me to be here once this is over. And even though I've continually said over and over again, like, if you want me here, I got to make it now. I guess people just don't care. And that kind of hurts, but I guess they understand the reasoning behind it. But, you know, if you're here watching, you're amazing. You're awesome. And thank you so much for sticking with me. Hopefully you're enjoying these vlogs. And yeah, so that's all I have. I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching.